go to Diane in Des Moines. What's up, Diane? How we doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? Good, good, good. What's up? Well, I just found out that my daughter is stripping, and I don't know what to do. I want to go in with guns a-blazing, but I feel like I would push her away. And this is a total 180 from what she was a year ago, and I'm just worried something's going on. Um, yes, yeah, something is going on. What do you think is going on? Uh, well, she's um, trying to meet, make ends meet. She she was living with her boyfriend that she'd had for five or six years, and um, he was basically just living in the house and using her vehicle. And so she decided that was enough, and she kicked him out. Well, then she needed to find some way to either get a roommate or make ends meet. Mm -hmm. And so she stopped and picked up a, a waitressing job at a, a nice restaurant and she was starting to make some money. Um, she did have a, a girlfriend that I thought she was, I had never, never met. Um, and I just found out that she, um, has been doing this before my daughter started. So I think something uh, the influence is, is pulling my daughter away from what I've taught her to. I think she just looked at, she, she needed them, got desperate and needed the money. Yes. Um, what, what is your relationship like with her? Very close. Um, just recently, um, she's kind of been pulling away. Um, we have opposite schedules since she's working more evenings. I'm home in the evenings and, and I work during the day. So are you, are you on the same town? Close. Close. This is going to sound different than the answer I would normally give. Um, but I'd go get my kid. Um, I would probably, um, like I, I talk tough a lot about um, not letting your kids leech off of you. I talk tough about, um, you know, like when your kid's, 23, 24, 25, they need to have their own place. They need to be go, doing some, go do some stuff. Um, this is a critical juncture. Um, there's the stripping, yes, but there's also the environment. And then there's the secondary trauma. And then there's the, the oh, prim yeah. primary trauma. And the path here, stripping is included in the path here, which is one of... Um, so it's just going to be tough. Like I'm just looking down the barrel of what next year and the year after that looks like. And this is right. one of those moments when I would ask my child to come to breakfast with me and I would say, come home. You can live here for a year to get your feet underneath you. You don't have to do this anymore. I'll take care of your right. bills. I'm going to help you get a job. I'm going to help you find some stuff. Come home. Then she's going to be taking some, um, She's getting her master's. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're missing the point. You're missing the she point. She just has, so, and I want her to come home. I don't think she'll want to come home. Okay. Um, it, it, here's what I want, though. I want her to know mom fought for her. Right. And mom didn't just call because our schedules were just all screwed up. For Screw my schedule. I'm going to get right. my baby girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, Here's where this is going to be devastating for you, uh, it, potentially, because it's a risk. You're going all in. Yeah. And if she ca does come home, house is going to be a chaotic mess. And you know that because y'all probably fight and don't get along. And y'all have different values and different things. It's going to be a mess. But your baby girl will be safe, at least for a season. And you can go out there and pour your heart out and she can say, no, mom, I'm just making $1,000 a night. I'm not coming home. And then you're going to make a long drive back with nobody else in that car. And it's going to be heartbreaking and devastating. Your little girl's worth a potential heartbreak. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so much. She's just got so much love in her heart. She and does. She, she does. just has a heart of gold. And I think she's going to have so much trauma and regret and shame and Okay, but listen, she doesn't, she doesn't need any of that from you right now. No. What she needs is her mama. Yeah. She doesn't need any of the, do you know what's going to happen and you're going to start using drugs and you're going to have mental health challenges and all these men are going to, she doesn't need that. She knows that. She knows. Right.
What she needs is, is somebody to say, I love you. Come home. Right. And she may not come. But in two years, in three years, when the bottom falls out, when things start getting jagged on the side, she'll say, I, I, I know of a place. Is dad still yeah. in the picture? Um, he's, we're divorced. We've been divorced for five years. And, um, and his comment was, her friend does it. I don't want her to do it. But with the political things going on right now, people are doing things that they don't normally consider oh, doing. That's, that's such a stupid cop out. That guy needs to suck it up and get off his butt and go get his daughter. What kind of stupid thing is that to say? Well, the political I stuff. I don't care what's going on. I know. Good grief. And here's the other thing. I have to be honest about this conversation. It would be disingenuous for me not to say, you may sit down with your daughter who's getting it. What's your, what's your master's degree going to be in? Social work. Okay. She may be um, going to gr graduate and this is a six month stint. And she'll look up in five years and have a great job as a social worker and be like, yeah, dude, I just had to make ends meet. It's just part of the deal and moving on. I've met those folks. Okay. Yeah. Not bad people. Yeah. Good people found themselves in a tough patch and made decisions that I don't think are good decisions. I don't think they're, they're not they're good or bad. They're not healthy. They're not good for you. Right. 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 Nobody goes into that, in, into a strip club. The whole thing, the exchange, the human, it's a copy of a copy of what it's supposed to be. It's fake intimacy, right? Yeah. Nobody wins in that exchange. It's just sad. It breaks my heart. It does. Because it takes something so right and just says, here's wallpaper and duct tape, and we can barely see through it. And, but she may lay out a plan for you. Say, Mom, I got four months, and I'm going to graduate, and then I'm going to go do this. Um, thank you so much, but I'm a grown, grown up, and I know what I'm doing. And at that point, you write her letters, you call her. You say, well, we're having breakfast and fix your schedule, Diane. Yeah. Okay. Whatever, th whatever that takes. And tell that knuckleheaded ex-husband of yours to shut up about the stupid politics. Call his daughter and let her know I love you and you've got a place to come home to. Right. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry you found yourself in this position. Um... There's just these, and this is to all the parents out there, there's these precipice moments. Um, maybe, I hope this isn't a bad analogy. It might be. I'm just thinking of it off the top of my head as, as I'm going here. Um, I let my kids climb trees all the time. They're always climbing trees and falling down and doing whatever. There's a, a point, though, they get too high up on that branch. Are they probably going to fall? No. But if they do, they don't come back. It's too high. It's too unsafe. That, that branch is too flimsy. So I'm all about scratches and bruises and failing and falling down. I'm about somebody gets in a bad relationship and it's like, Phew, I love you. I'm going to stand by you. But you're 25 and you're making grown-up adult choices. Um, and then there's a few moments like addiction. There's a few moments like um, this when, sudden, when a, 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 a light switch flips. And somebody who was one person becomes a completely different person, especially in that environment. This is full of heartache and sadness and despair and wrapped up in celebrations and loud lights and loud music and beautiful people. It's just a despair. <sighs> then I'm going to go get my daughter. I'm going to go get my daughter. And if she doesn't come with me because I can't force her, I'm at least gonna, she's going to know that guy loves me. And that guy was willing to storm the gates of hell to come get me. I see you, and I still love you anyway. That's what I want my kids to know.